Hi, 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 hi. Let me finish this post. And then we will chat. Get you guys all over. Hold on. I had somebody want to do a last second party to close on the first because they want the warmer of the month. So I'm like scrambling to like hurry up and set it up. Eight. All right. So let's look at the news tab. I don't think there's really anything much exciting going on in the news tab. All right, so they're going to email your customers about Star Wars. You can nominate your 2022 Shining Star. If you don't know what that is, that is, um, I don't know if they explain it. So it is named after Heidi's mother who passed away. And um, somebody who contributes to the most fulfilling the Cincy mission and who best exemplifies, I can't say that word, our core values of simplicity, authenticity, and generosity. Um, the Cincy mission is to bring value to the world by providing an industry-leading, family-friendly business opportunity, selling creative, artistic, high-quality products that warm the heart and liven the soul and inspire, enliven the senses and inspire the soul. So you are able to nominate anybody you want. Um, just, and then at SFR in the past, they like, um, we had it one year where they, um, had a whole group of them, but it's usually one winner and they have done it in the past where they actually surprise them. Like in, while everybody's sitting there, they're like, oh, great. Here's nominee number one and nominee, and it's whoever gets the most nominations is how it works. So feel free to do that if you want. Um, only directors and above, I'm pretty sure, can win the award, but you are able to nominate anybody you want. So that has to be done by the end of this month. Last chance to register for reunion. That is, um, th that cutoff date is at the end of the month. After that, you are out of luck. If you're not going in person, that's fine. Um, but I really don't see any reason why you can't do virtual. Now, if you're here for a hobby or whatever, that's different. Like if you're just selling for yourself or you're just selling to your friends and family and you're not trying to run this as a business, that's okay. But if you're trying to make money at this, you really truly need to register for this. You will get sneak peeks of the fall and winter, um, all the new stuff, things that are going to be coming throughout the fall and the winter, which is amazing. I already know this stuff, um, things like that. You're going to get access to training and things. I can tell you, yes. I'm going. Will I share all the information with you? No. It's just the facts. I'm not. I'm not going to share it all with you. I will share some of it with you, but I will not share everything with you because it is available for all of us to go, virtual or in person. So some things I will share, some things I will not, and we will just we'll just roll with it, right? So that was in the news tab. The whole drama of some things oversold in the flash sale. It just happens. I mean, think about it. We have all, we have consultants and customers all across the world and they're all putting in their orders at the same time and the system just didn't update fast enough. Shit happens. So there was things that got oversold and they're sending out gifts to customers who were affected by the over sales, over sales, salesman. I don't know what the right word is whatever they are sending gifts to your customers what it is i don't know um i did i did yeah i had one customer affected by it her clover buddy clip i think the cow buddy clip let me look i think her buddy clip oversold and i think they're sending her I've got it right here. All right, so her Clover the Cow buddy clip, she, yes, oversold. So they are sending her Hamish. So if you need to know, it is in your order history. It will say an override. It won't say like um, a party or anything like that. It will say override, and that is since he's sending your customer a gift because something in their order has oversold. Feel free to contact your customers. That is 100% up to you. 
to me they probably already got an email about it it's not to me it's not really that big of a deal like mine is getting one cow for another cow not a big deal up to you uh, I think that's really of what to expect from the um, on transition which is Sunday yeah Sunday night Monday, Saturday night Monday morning following a Harry Potter collections leaving Easter collection Disney's Cle Dumbo collection Cincy Fresh collection all is well collection all of those are leaving so if any of them are available to put in club this is your last chance to put them in club if they're not available in club you are SOL let your customers know again that is your job um, launching on the first that we know of is the whiff box scent warmer of the month and the summer collection if you don't know what any of those are please get with your sponsor or check an album okay okay um we have talked about mindset like a million billion trot times we just have and it's um it's a very corny thing and before this whole sensei gig i thought it was dumb mindset and personal development is for weak people it's for people who um don't have their shit together who are constantly trying to change and like are depressed that's literally what i thought and and that's not correct but before before this gig that is 100 percent what i thought the only people who do things like that are weak-minded people i'm not ashamed or embarrassed or anything like that that's just what i thought um but I can tell you, I do know for a fact, for a fact, think about it. Story time. You ready? We all have, we all know somebody who is like, oh, what was me? Everything bad is happening. Um, you know, my tire, I got a flat tire. And then when I tried to change my flat tire, um, I got splashed with water and then I had to wear wet clothes all day at work. Then I caught a cold from wearing... You know this. You know the situation. Everything in their life is terrible. If you stop and think about it for a minute, is it terrible because they're attracting the terrible? Nobody has bad luck per se. Luck is a thing. I don't know if it's a real thing. I don't know if it's a made up thing. But still, nobody is born or has bad luck consistently. But we have a tendency as a human race to focus on the negative the bad you know we have a tendency to when one bad thing happens that's all we see is all the bad things um if you're a parent you know this very very much if your kid does one bad thing you're like oh my god why can't you be good for like five minutes when all they've done is one bad thing for the day um children have a very very hard time of noticing if one bad thing happens at school their whole entire day is ruined because one bad thing happened trust me I've had to go through this with my own children all right let's take a minute I had to go through this with my husband the other day let's take a minute literally count on your fingers how many good things did you happen today how many bad things did you happen today do you have more good than bad if you have more good than bad then it was a good day but as a human race we have a tendency to focus on the negative because the negative always feels so dramatic it always feels so huge it feels just self engulfing you know oh that's a really big phrase um it feels very heavy so it is all that we focus on and then when that's all you, it's kind of like when you want a specific car or you want a specific pair of shoes or a specific hair color but you're undecided that's all you notice right Oh my god there's a million people driving that car i really wanted how did i never notice it before it's because it's in the front of your mind right negativity is the exact same thing if you focus on the negative that's what you're going to see all the time that's the only thing you're going to see and it's very hard to get out of that hole um i've been in the hole i've been in the very bottom with probably dirt on top of me of the hole where all i could see was negative where um there was never going to be anything good. Nothing was going to change. I was never going to get better. I was never going to be happy. I was never going to be pretty. I was never going to be skinny. I was never going to be, I was never going to be all of the things. Like when I'm saying the bottom of the hole, like there was no light at the top of this hole. I've been there. I've been there to the point where Jeremy was like, Ben, why don't we get you a book or two to read about, you know, just getting better. I've been in the bottom, but it takes you it takes work to shift your mindset 
Same thing with your business. Nobody is ordering. Nobody is hosting. Nobody is joining. Yep, guess what? Ain't nobody going to do any of those things because that's all you're focusing on. Um, Heidi did a whole, I think it was a keynote speech once, on the power of yet. I don't have anybody joining me yet. See how it changed it from, I don't have anybody joining me yet. Do you see how it changes? Just that one little word changes it. And I think we all, like I said, as a human race, we get stuck in the negative. We get very, very stuck in the negative, and that's all we focus on. And then you have a tendency to bring more and more and more negative, because that's all you can see. That's all you can see. So sometimes it just takes a very little simple, yes, I know I say simple, and it's not, like I said, I've been there. I've lost a daughter, and I had, I birthed. I, I birthed, sent her to NICU, never saw her again, died, cremated ashes in 24 hours. I have been in the bottom of the hole. I have been in the bottom where nobody has gone before to the bottom of the hole. Okay, where I could not mourn the loss of my daughter because I had a son who was two. And he didn't quite understand what was going on. So what did we have to do? We had to just completely stop talking about her forever. Don't say her name. Because for a two-year-old, out of sight, out of mind. If I don't say it, he won't talk about it. I was only able to mourn the death of my daughter in the shower alone. Okay? I had to come home from the hospital, have given birth. And if you've ever given birth... I had the milk come in, I had the C-section scars, I had all of the pain, I had the dumping of the hormones, I had the whole nine of giving birth because I was nine months pregnant. I've been in the bottom of the hole. I've been there. I had to close my massage practice. I was a licensed massage therapist for a practice that I absolutely loved. Loved, and I was successful at it. I had to close my practice because I physically could no longer stand up. I went and had surgery. I was bedridden for a month. Like bedpan bedridden for a month with two kids. And then I was walker bound, like an old person walker bound for two months after that. I've been in the bottom. You have to change your mindset. Adding the word yet at the end will change it all. Might, okay, it's not going to change it all. It might, a little, you know. But again, take the negativity out. Focus on the positive. And if you have to go, okay, I woke up. And some people might, like Jeremy, when he's in a really bad funk, he's like, well, maybe I didn't want to wake up. You woke up, right? You have a kid, a dog, a spouse. You have somebody who loves you. That's the second good thing, okay? That's before you even made it out of your bedroom, okay? That's two good things. Always, every day. Two good things. You have those two good things. Then... Did you have something yummy to eat? Did you get to talk to a friend? Did, you know, shoot, did you read something that made you laugh? All of those can be good things. Now, how many bad things did you have today? Do you have more good fingers up than bad fingers up? If so, you had a good day. Flip it. Okay? I know it sounds very silly, and I know it sounds very childish. But when you're in that hole and in that funk and in that mindset, it's really hard to get out. And sometimes you have to make it a very simple, easy, basic step, right? Again, you want that car, you want that purse, you want those shoes. Everybody in the whole daggone world has those shoes or that purse or that car. And you're like, oh my God, everybody has it. Why don't I just do it? Why don't I just get it? Why did I never notice those? Everybody has those shoes before, you know? You start to notice those things because that's what you're focused on. When you want um, when you want your business to grow and you don't think it's growing, you go out and you focus on, you know, she's had she's had five people join. She's had 13 people join. She's had, five, you know, five more people join. I've had nobody join, okay? Those few people that you named off and that you're watching, I bet you there's probably double that who have had nobody join, right? You focus on the things that you want and then you kind of like judge yourself based on it. So you gotta stop, hold up the fingers, hold up the fingers. Um, I got up, I worked out, I had a nice lunch with Jeremy. 
I took her a nice shower. Dude, that's a good thing. Um, I had a yummy lunch. It rained. It was a really good rainstorm. It wasn't long, but I'll take it. Um, I got work done. I had the house to myself for a little bit today. That never happens. Like, nobody was here. Nobody. Um, that's off the top of my head. Eight good things today, right? And some of them were little. Some of them were teeny, teeny, tiny little things. Let's see. What did I have bad today? I can't leave anything. And it might be because I'm more focused on the good things than the bad things. Now, there are some days where it just sucks. It just blows. Here's the key. Don't stay in the party. Don't stay in the pity party longer than 24 hours. I will give you 24 hours in your pity party. What was me? Life is terrible funk. Then you gotta get out of it. You do not put up permanent residence there. You are just visiting. Right? And then you flip it and you change it. Get it out. Yell, scream, cry, throw things, rip things up. Go and shoot things. That's what Jeremy does when he gets mad. He goes and shoots things. Um, get it all out. Scream on a pillow. Punch a pillow. Do what you have to do to get all of the anger out, all the frustration out, all the funk out. Get it all out. And then know when you wake up tomorrow, it is a new day. That funk from yesterday is gone. Okay, we're not bringing the yuck from yesterday into today. It's gone. And we're going to start new. Now, if the next day is funky, that's a different funk. Right? That's a different funk. And then count the fingers. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Once you change your mindset, more positive things will come your way because you're more focused on the positive. You could be pushing away positive things. You could be pushing away great opportunities because you're in this funk. You're in this negative mindset. You're not, you're only focused on that bad stuff that you could literally be missing out on some really good things, some helpful things, helpful words. Because sometimes somebody, like a friend of yours, may tell you some good words and you're like, I don't even want to hear it. I'm so upset right now. I've done it. We all done it. But those words could have been changing. You just couldn't focus on it, right? So just change your mindset. Try not to focus on the negative. Try to flip it. Don't think of it as some hippy dippy stuff. I did. Um, change it right hold up the fingers i'm telling you it's that simple hold up the fingers and if you do have more negative things up then if you more bad then you have good okay because it can happen we are so far in a funk we can't find any good you get a 24-hour pity party and then you suck it up and you start again tomorrow right what was like marriage advice don't go to bed angry don't bring yesterday's problems into today. Same thing. Do not bring your anger from whatever happened today into your day tomorrow. You do not want to start your day tainted with yuckiness. Does that make sense? Um, I used to tell the kids before they went to bed. Tomorrow is a new day full of new possibilities and adventures. But if you bring in a bad attitude into the new day, there goes your possibilities and adventures because you've already started it. Like, on a wrong foot. You know how it is. Like, Casey runs. And and I didn't know this. But when you're running, like, in track and stuff like that, starting, literally starting on the wrong foot will mess up your whole race. I find that really weird. But it can literally mess up your whole race, your whole long jump, your whole high jump, your whole hurdle. You literally have to start on a certain foot to make it have a chance to go right. And if you start your day in a bad mood from yesterday, you're starting it already off on a bad foot, the wrong foot, right? This is nothing new, nothing overly exciting, but sometimes you just have to hear it in a different way. So if you need me to talk with you nightly about how many good things did you have and how many bad things did you have, all right, was it a good day or a bad day? Just tell me. And I will. I literally had to do that with my son. He he would have a hard time. He would have a hard time finding the good, you know. Somebody was mean to him at school. And it hurt his feelings. And it was a terrible day. It was a terrible, terrible day. It was bad. It was the worst day ever. All right. And I would do this. Let's sit down. How many good things? 
nothing, nothing good happened. Okay, you got up. There's one good thing. What else? And then as soon as he started focusing and trying to think of the good things, he would find more good things than bad. So I'm challenging you to do that. All right. And I'm challenging you to see how it changes your business. I do not have anybody joining me. Nobody wants to join me. Nobody wants to party with me. Nobody wants to order with me. <laughs> Negative. Nobody wants to order for me yet. But they will. I just have to change some things. Nobody wants to party from me yet. Okay. How can I change that? Nobody wants to join me yet. I'm scared. But I'm going to work on it. See? See how it changes? Maybe I'm corny. Maybe I'm a hippie. I don't know. But I can tell you I feel better. I don't feel good when things are negative. Like, I can feel it internally. So, I prefer to feel good. And if I can help you, please tell me. Please tell me. I'm here for you guys. So, please change your mindset. Add the word yet. Not yet. Um, no one has joined me, but they will. Nobody has hosted, but they will. Change just those few little words on the end. And then see how your business changes. I challenge you to do that. Okay? I challenge you to do those simple little things. And then tell me how it changes your business. Changes your life. All right? I think that's it. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. It's the last week of the month. Keep kicking butt. Um, hopefully you have the incentive. I think the goal would be to have it halfway. Half of the wax absorbers and at least two of the four circles closed. I would think. I mean, that feels right, right? That would be half and then you finish the other half at the end of next month. I'll just split it. So 250 in wax and warmers and two circles closed. So hopefully you guys are on that track. Um, why did my nose stop up real quick? So if you have any questions, please shout. And I hope, I hope, I hope this helps somebody. Bye.